Hello friends. Hello friends. I'm Karina Chin with Karinastamps.com and I want to welcome you today to my YouTube live. I'm going to show you how to make a really fun and easy pocket card because we all know that uh, school is almost finishing in June. We've got Father's Day coming up, although I don't think this card will be the best for Father's Day. It's got lots of flowers, but hopefully I'll show you how you can make this design and then change it for the supplies you have. So I want to welcome you today. I'm in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, and I've been a Stampin' Up! demonstrator for about 15 years, and I'm happy to just share things with you. So before I get started, I will make a few announcements and I'll make sure that I'm actually live on YouTube. Yes, I am. So I, my Facebook account was hacked in March and I never got it back. So I'm starting everything all over again. My new Facebook page is Karina Stamps. Uh, it's Karina Stamps and my blog is also KarinaStamps.com. So I guess it's uh, time to change my name for something. So I'm happy that you're here. And if you're here and make sure you comment, let me know it's working. And if you're watching on uh, after the fact, just leave me a comment or let me know you're watching. And I do like to give door prizes. So what I'm going to do is see who watches and posts today. And then what I'm going to do is mail... Um, some new in color ribbon. So this is the 2022, 2024 Stampin' Up! in color ribbon. I always do a ribbon share. So somebody who watches today and posts or comment will be getting this in the mail. It's always nice to have a selection of the new in colors. We have the Tahitian Tide, the Orchid Oasis, the, oh, I have to cheat, Starry Sky. We have Sweet Sorbet and Parakeet Party. So the colors are really beautiful this year. And I do do an in-color share. If you wanted to just buy the colors every single month, it's $60 a month. And then you get your ink pads, your re-inkers. What else do you get? Uh, your Stampin' Blends um, and some card stock. And I think, I don't think you get the Stampin' Right markers, but I would have to check on that. Okay, so let's see if anybody is joining in. So Kathy's here. Hello, Kathy. I'm happy you're here watching me today. And uh, before I start too, I wanted to mention that anybody who got their, who placed a BOGO, a buy one, get one free order with me last week, I just got all the orders. I've got like seven boxes stacked up by the front door. So I'll try to go through those as quickly as possible so everybody can get their new stuff and play. So that was very exciting. So let me just go down here quickly. Uh, there we go. So if you want information about um, just posts and what's going on, I have a blog at karinastamps.com. At the bottom of that, I have a, um, a link that goes to my newsletter. That's how I advertise most of my classes is by email. Uh, so if you want to go on the list, everyone's welcome to go on the list. For example, I have an event at the end of May, May 28th, and it's in person and all my spots are sold out. So the only way you found out about that was from the email list. So, so I'm so excited about that Abigail Rose in-person stamp camp that we're doing at the end of the month. And then if you want to place an order today, you can go to karinachan.stampinup.net. This is the hostess code. I just changed it. It's new. So anybody who places a $60 order, I will just send you a couple thank you cards. A $100 order, you get an embellishment with that. Or you can have a class if you want. I've got a lot of classes that I'm doing. In fact, I have to start working on our virtual card class, which is going to be at the end of the month. I'll have to bump it a week, which means I've got to get the cards done. And we're using that new Brood for You stamp set. So I'm so excited about that. And my demonstration today got a little messed up because I had something else planned, but I'm changing it. And I'm changing it to the beautiful Happiness Abound stamp set and Hues of Happiness um, cards. And the reason I'm doing that is I went to order this for a friend. So let me just bring this in. Happiness Abound stamp set and dies. It's already on the low inventory list. So when that happens... You, Stampin' Up! turns off the ordering code and you just can't get it until they get more stock in. So that could take one month, two months. So I thought this was an emergency Facebook Live today or YouTube Live today. So if you're thinking about getting the Happiness Abounds bundle, I highly recommend that you pick it up quick. Uh, Gail's here too. Hello, Gail. Thanks for watching me today. And you can get the whole suite if you want for $95.75 because this designer series paper is so beautiful. So with that $95, you would get the designer series paper, 
you also get um, some of these coordinating glossy dots assortment pack and then the stamp set and the dies but I think you really need the stamp set and the dies okay you really need the paper too these are nice to have but you know you can always add something else if you want okay so I just thought I would show that quickly and then I made up a little sampler sets paper sampler for my paper but I don't think this does does it justice this is usually what I work off when I start designing cards but I didn't really do that this time because I'm just trying to find my paper pack now um where did it go I set it aside and I guess I'll just have to leave it at that for now oh no I put it here no nope, that's the daffodil paper kind of looks like the daffodil paper I'll just show you this page. It's probably right in front of my nose, this paper pack, but look at this. Okay, look how beautiful this one pack is all by itself. So I cut a two by two inch square, and I think it is this one here, but it doesn't show the purples. So that's what I mean, that this is an example of what the papers look like, but they're just so beautiful. It's just so hard to, so hard to describe unless I show you the paper pack. And I'm just looking over here. I don't know how I can possibly lose 12 by 12 paper, but you know what happens. So anyway, that's a paper pack. And then these are a couple swaps that I just received on this uh, Happiness Hues suite. And the one thing I like is look at this cool, look at the cool die. So it cuts out a little accent area. And then these are just papers that are die cut uh, paper die cut from the designer series paper so you can see how easy it is to make the cards Margaret Ann's here too hello Margaret Ann you got your big order today fantastic I just got everybody else's order as well so that's what I'm doing as soon as I get off this live I gotta sort orders for everybody I know it's so exciting to get new stuff okay now let's look at this card again you know it's a better better idea of what the gorgeous paper looks like this one is from Diana Langman who is this one from this one was from Karen Duke. Oh yeah, I love Karen's cards. And then this one is part of our crafting crew team. Now who did this? Margaret Ann, did you make this one? Or who made this? If you can put it in the chat. Margaret Ann is really great at posting the cards we get from our crafting crew group. There, I think we're eight of us or 10 of us who swapped last month. So if you're interested in joining a group who loves to stamp every single month, the starter kit is on special right now, so I like to mention it. It's on special till the end of May. So what happens is Stampin' Up! lets you shop for $165 in product. Whatever you want, you pay $135. If you live in Alberta, there's no shipping or GST. If you live in the other provinces, there could be HST on it or some of the other taxes. We don't have provincial tax yet here. Hopefully we don't ever, but we'll see. And then Stampin' Up! is also giving you in-color grid paper assorted court cardstock designer series paper and the ink pads so i think it's around a 95 dollar value and then as part of our team we get together and we stamp every single month so this is what we made on friday night everybody used whatever stamp set they have and i highly encourage you to use your existing stuff never feel like you have to buy the newest newest stuff to stamp with me i love seeing everybody's creativity and what you come up with but I thought this was really great because it uses a sweet songbird stamp set and punch. I haven't checked to see if it's low inventory because that's one of the first things I bought. But the paper is nice. So this is the designer series paper and cardstock that you would get in your starter kit. So if you're interested in that or have any questions, let me know. After, after you get your starter kit, you save 20% off on all your orders. And that's your only obligation. So don't feel like you have to do classes or anything like that. You simply do what you want to do. Okay, let's see if Margaret Ann answered the question if she knows who made this pretty card that I got. Celine made it. Thank you, Margaret Ann. So Celine made this beautiful card. I thought it was really nice because I like how the how she interlocked the frames. I thought that was super fun too. You know, just very pretty. Uh, the challenge I think was to use something new from the catalog this month. So that was fun. Okay, so here we go with those cards. Um, another announcement I have is that I'm going to Calgary. I am going to Calgary on Thursday. I'll go back to me for a second. So what that means, there, I'm going back to Calgary 
on Thursday. Just said that about three times. And I'm in the Great Canadian Scrapbooker Show. So I'm doing it with my friend Donna. So Donna and I split a booth and we promote our Stampin' Up! products. So if you're coming to the show, make sure you come say hi to me. And we're going to be selling samplers of all the Stampin' Up! paper, the ribbons and the embellishments. We're selling it by suites. So we also designed a scrapbook page to go with each of the suites. So do you want to see what I made? I'm pretty proud of them. I thought this was fun. Now, I can't even think of the name of this suite now. Look at this one. So this one is the new little bear. So I just put it in here. I think it's easier to show like this. So it's a two page layout. Let's see if I can get it in here. It's kind of hard to see. But this is one of the layouts. I think it's called Forest Friends. And this is almost all pieces cut from the designer series paper. Pretty great, hey? And then the other one I designed, I was doing this last night really late. Where is it here? This is, this is all I got done. This one is called Sun Prints. I love this paper pack. Seriously, so beautiful. And then this is my two page scrapbook layout. If you can see that. So what did I do? Can I get it in there? I'm peeking to see. But it gives you an idea of what um, a two page layout could look like. Just again using the paper and then I pulled in some of the elements from, ooh, I forget where this little scripty, where this is from, is it? I don't know. Oh yeah, that's part of the Sun Suite dies as well. But anyway, I just thought I would share that really quickly. So we got lots of stuff for sale and I think the, I think it's on Friday and Saturday, but we drive down Thursday to set up our booth. So that's why I have not been very active on social media because I've been hiding, trying to get my stuff done. Yeah, serious stuff. And then as well, any new orders, um, you can get, get a new ink pad too if you want, if you don't want an embellishment. And today is the last day to sign up for Paper Pumpkin. So it, the Paper Pumpkin this time features the new in colors. So if you like the new in colors, you're going to want Paper Pumpkin. Okay, I think that's all my announcements that I had. Um, yes, and if you, yeah, I did mention my in color promotion as well, where you can get it just month by month. Or if you just got a bonus check or something for $175, you can pretty much get all the new in color stuff through me as well. Okay, so let's make this fun card. And I'm using the beautiful designer series paper. See, look how pretty it is. Like this, normally I love these, but this just does not do it justice. I don't even know what pattern that is. I don't know. It's just really pretty. So let's just tuck this off to the side. Now what you're going to want to do is you want to just cut a regular card base that's five and a half inches by eight and a half inches. Score it at four and a quarter. And then I've also cut this piece to be four and a quarter by five and a half. And then what I'm going to do is a little bit of cutting. So I want to put kind of a tick mark here at two and a half inches. So let's line this up at two and a half inches right here. And I'm just going to put a kind of a tick mark. I think I can see that. It's kind of hard to see with this pattern. And I want it lined up on here without kind of tacking it down. So let's just make sure that's lined up. There is my tick mark. So I'm putting this corner by the score line and my tick mark in my paper cutting track. Now, if you need a paper cutter, I highly recommend the Stampin' Up! paper cutter. I think it is the best. Cuts through. You can see how easily it cuts through two layers of paper. If, it, if your paper starts getting fuzzy, you can easily replace the cutting blade. Okay. Now, this is what it looks like. So, I could have just, you know, sealed it up here and made a pocket. But I think it looks even prettier when you put it back in like this. Okay, so let's do that first. What I'm going to do is put this piece back in on the inside so it looks almost like a solid piece of cardstock. And I'm just using my liquid glue because I need a little bit of wiggle room when I stamp. Just a little bit. Okay, and let's see, and we will go here. Yeah, I am so excited to be stamping again. So I got a new puppy, what, a week ago? We had him a week on Sunday. His name is Otto. He's sleeping again. He likes to sleep during my sleep, my Facebook lives. Eventually, though, I will bring him on so everybody can see him. Super cute guy, though. 
He is a mini schnauzer. And uh, unfortunately, he found my matte black dot. So he had these all over his nose, on his paws. So I tried to save some of them. You can see how many are missing. But uh, I guess that's my fault. I left them out, right? Where he could get them. Okay, now this part is important. So you just want to add your adhesive on this bottom side, the short side, and then the bottom here. And then that's going to close up the pocket. Well, it's going to make a pocket. It's going to close up the card to make a pocket. So let's go like that. Okay, then we'll just glue this down for a second. I might as well just go over my bone folder really quickly. Okay, I like that. Let that dry for a second. Now I'm going to put this right on top so that, see, it looks like one piece of solid cardstock. It's like a surprise pocket. So you can put a gift card in there, maybe a little packet of tea if you use the um, the tea designer series paper. It would be really pretty. I just thought by the time I get around to showing you this suite, you won't be able to order the stamp set and dies. Things sell out really quickly these days with Stampin' Up. I don't know, maybe we're just buying more. No idea what's going on. Okay, so see how it looks like one piece of cardstock? Then I thought what we would do is let's make our little pocket card. So this pocket card, or this white piece of paper for the pocket, is three and a quarter inches by four and a half. Can anybody else live without their ruler? That would be a good question. What is your favorite stamping tool that you cannot live without? I would have to say my ruler and my pick your pick tool. Those are the two things that I cannot live without. Okay, can I add on the big shot as well? Or not the big shot, but the um, sample cut and emboss machine. What would our cards look like if we could never emboss? Okay, isn't that pretty? So to mount it on here, I just increased it by one eighth of an inch. So the gorgeous grape piece is three and three eighths by four and five eighths. Now, if you're going, what are five eighths and your new stamper, you literally count the, the kind of medium tick. So one, and then the big one, one, two, three, four, five is right here. And uh, when I first started doing this, that's exactly what I did. Okay, now I have cut a frame. This is kind of my other favorite thing I love right now. I am loving, loving, loving these frames. So they are called the Fabulous Frames dies. They don't coordinate with any stamp set, so there's no bundles. But let's just bring in again my scrapbook page. Can you see where I used? It makes little photo. What are these, photo frames? with these pieces. And there's a little bit of a detailed one and then there's kind of a plainer one, maybe if you're doing a masculine card. And then these are the brand new silver twigs. They're quite heavy, so I think they're really good for scrapbooking. But anyway, I just thought I would point that out. And then there's the same, this is the larger frame that I'm using. And I've been using the frames on a lot of projects lately. But I just thought I'd point that out too because we don't want that to go in back order. Okay, and I need a bunch of birthday cards. I looked and I missed all my April birthdays. And then I noticed I'm not doing very well for May. So I really regret selling my, what was my, there was a stamp set that had sorry I'm late or something like that for my birthday cards. And I almost might have to borrow that back. I think Helen brought it for me. So Helen, I might have to be coming over to borrow that. Oh, it said happy birthday a little bit late because I am really late with birthday cards. Between the puppy and Calgary, things are just really busy. Oh, and my, yeah, my card class is tomorrow. My Monday or my Wednesday morning card class is tomorrow. And then Wednesday, Monday night is the third Monday of the month. Okay, can you follow me? Can you see what I'm doing? That looks pretty good, hey? Now, I noticed that I wanted this to be one piece. I don't want it falling out because I want to pop it up. So I think what I'm going to do is just run a piece of, let's just get a piece of scrap here and we'll just run it across. Yeah, that would work. We're just going to make it stick. It's probably too long now. I could just get some tear and tape adhesive too, right? But I just want to stick these two pieces together. Okay, so let's just put these back. We'll just put some 
blue in the center and right here because I want to pop it up on top of my ribbon and when a die cuts out it cuts out your kind of center oval as well Ooh, here we go okay I think that's good I'm just gonna go with it if it's not well that's okay I'll just give this card to one of my friends and you know they'll forgive me a little bit of space okay good that's better okay now it's one solid piece ish and then i can pop that up so let's put this ribbon down this is the faux ribbon um now this is where i need my tear and tape adhesive and as i look at my desk it is nowhere to be found so luckily i have a stamp and seal let's just use a stamp and seal let's just put that right here put it right about here that looks pretty nice and then we're going to pop this up with dimensionals so let's get a whole bunch because I need to support the back frame as well. So we'll put one there, one there, one here, one here, and then we'll support this piece. You know, why don't I just put a whole sheet of dimensionals on here? What do you think? And I live in Edmonton, Alberta, and we woke up to snow this morning. Can you believe that? Was anybody else shocked? I'm happy that my poor little plants didn't die. Yeah, I was not impressed to see that at all. So Margaret Ann loves the Stamparatus. You know what, Margaret Ann? I should use mine more. That is a really good point. Hello, Leona. How are you today? I'm happy that you're joining me. Yeah, the Stamparatus is a really great tool too. Okay, now let's see. What does this look like? What do you think? Isn't this just an easy pocket card? Now this is cute, but I think it's missing, it's definitely missing something. And I don't like how this is flapping. So let's just pop this up too. Well now it popped it up too much. Okay, I'm going to put that down. I think what I'd have to do is trace out a whole piece of white and then glue it on if I don't want it flapping around. That's my suggestion. Okay, now the next thing I'm going to do is I showed you those beautiful gems. I was going to put a couple of those on here. And then I think we need to stamp some little flowers in the corner. And then my card will be done. So really simple today. Um, I think I'm going to do these kind of great colors. So let's get my picker tool, which is really great for placing these embellishments with the putty end. And then I'm going to pull this back out. And, ooh, I should put a, like I said, I need a gift card. I wonder if I should do Starbucks. What's your favorite place to give gift cards from? Amazon. Actually, I haven't bought an Amazon gift card. But I do tend to buy quite a bit from Amazon. I try to go to Staples first. And then Amazon second. Now you might wonder, oh, you know what? I think I'm going to leave that. If I try to line that up, um, it could be a bit disastrous. I want this, when I put this in, I want the little flower to show on the corner of the card to make it look cute. And I'm looking for my pool party stamp and blend. So let's just open this. I have a case. Oh, here they are. Pool party stamp and blends and... Granny Apple Green. Yeah, we'll just get Granny Apple Green. I think this will work just great. We'll just change up the color a little bit. I think once it's colored, you won't really notice that I made a boo-boo. No, you can't tell. I don't think, I think every single card I make, I make a mistake. Anybody else like that? Or do you guys stamp perfect? There we go. Isn't that cute? Maybe we'll just give it a green center. Yellow would work too, but I don't know where my yellow is. Okay, ladies. So this is my super easy pocket card. So it looks like one solid piece. There it is there. And then on the back is, you could write something on the back if you want. I don't think I would. I think I would just leave it like this. What do you think? Cute? 
So this is probably one of my fit my faster Facebook lives because after this I'm going to the basement. I will sort orders and hopefully get everybody their stuff in the next day or tonight so you can actually come and pick it up before I leave for Calgary. I think. Okay, let's just see if I have any other YouTube comments. Nope. I think we're good. So I want to thank you for joining me today. Thank you for joining me today, guys. Um, I hope you'll try to do a little bit of stamping. You'll come see me in Calgary or take one of my classes or just come back and watch the video. Whenever you like or share a comment on these YouTube videos, it does help me a lot to get my name out there and keep the subscriber numbers up. So you can uh, get notified by just going in and hitting subscribe and then the notification buttons. So I'll just check. Everybody says thank you. So good. I hope you enjoyed the card today and that you'll try one. It's super easy. So thanks and have a great day. Bye.